Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this Mustang training video. This is the Mustangs arriving at my farm and I'm going to show you guys how we sorted them to get them separated because we had three Mustangs arrive at my farm and then one had to be separated out who was actually going to a different owner. So I'm going to show you guys how we did that and just a little bit of footage of my horses um, starting off at the farm. So first off what you can see is the door is open to the trailer and we are being very patient to wait for the horses to come off of the trailer. So it's so important that you don't rush them because you don't want them to hurt themselves because there you can see they already kind of scrambled off the trailer. So that's them arriving at the trailer or at the park into the field and they're all together stuck to each other like glue. And this is kind of some neat footage here because you can really see the horses show their mirroring receptors where they mirror each other and they really kind of move like a school of fish and they're all together moving because they're scared and that's what horses do when they're scared is they they tend to mirror which is why when you're working with horses it's so important that you project the energy and um, kind of what you want from your horse because if you're scared and skittish and all over the place then your horse is going to kind of mirror you and do the same thing and then this is actually uh, Aaron who's a friend of ours that volunteered to do the sorting first. And uh, he has um, a cow farm, so he's used to doing a lot of herding with cows, but he did a little bit with horses. And so this is um, my husband in there with the gate panels and Franny's there as well. And there you can see there was a mere accident with that bay horse running into the panel. And that's the same horse that when we were at, um, or when it was at the um, holding facility, I shared the footage of the horse like trying to jump through the um, hay feeder area. So really kind of skittish, scared Mustang. So first off, we were able to get them kind of separated like this, where we've got the two horses and then the one horse. And then what we decided to do to make it easier is to put the horses back on the trailer and then kind of resort from there. So this is Aaron in there very cautiously going in. You can see the bay horse tries to run through the panels again, you know, really, really scared. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm pretty thankful that I don't have the bay horse as my horse because he seems scared to the point of making some not so good uh, decisions. And you can see Aaron's actually in there with no stick, no flag, nothing he's really not trying to work the horses up anymore it's just his body language that he's using and you can see the horses do a bunch of circles here at the gate they they don't really like the option of the trailer but then once they kind of notice the trailer they commit and they decide to go onto the trailer so once that's done then Aaron goes in and uh, latches the doors of the trailer so we've got the horses back on there. So it's just a little easier to sort them when they're on the trailer. So now he's going to open the one door again and see if we can get just one horse to come off the trailer and get the door shut. It's just a little bit easier than if they're all coming off together. So one horse comes and you can see the other horse thought about coming in. But we quickly latched that, got the other gate shut. And so now we've got the Bay Mustang separated out and you can see he's pretty upset i know you guys are probably thinking darn it lindsay we wish we could watch you work with this mustang because he is um definitely like they're all scared for sure but this is the guy that's ran into our panels a few times and seems to make some not so bright decisions out of fear and that once he's not scared he's going to be a totally different horse but uh you know, he's definitely scared and tries running into those panels for sure. So now that he's there, what we're doing is just shifting the panel over. And then that way now the gate to the trailer is going to open up into the other part. And then my two Mustangs will be able to be in together. So they're going to secure that panel there in that spot. And then open the gate for the, um, the other Mustang to come out. And you can see while we're doing this, nobody's got flags or sticks or anything like that. And the reason is these horses are already so terrified of people. There's really no need to um, add more anxiety to the mix. 
anything we can do to try to help things be a little bit more at ease is going to be helpful for the horses. So here, now that everything's kind of secured, we're going to open up the panel, the gate and the trailer, sorry, the gate for the trailer to let the last horse off. So we're just getting everybody kind of set up, making sure that everybody's out of the way. And we're going to offer uh, for this last horse. And so he's going to come out here kind of slowly there, so carefully. And he's into his pen. And we'll get that gate shut. And then when the, um, the other owner came for her horse, this is now her bay horse getting onto her trailer. So you can see he kind of looked at Aaron and... and thought about kind of charging him a little bit there, but didn't go anywhere. He's just scared and Aaron's just being super patient. We're not trying to work him up or anything. You can see he's walking kind of slowly. He's giving him time to think, approaching very softly. There he kind of comes towards Aaron a little bit. And if he does a little bit more than that, then Aaron might clap his hands or do something at him. But this horse is a scared horse. And so you can see it just took a little bit of time and patience and now that horse is up on the trailer and we get the, the gate shut and then my husband's gonna go in and latch it there. So this is my two horses. They're gonna both end up needing names, but I don't like to name them until I kind of know what their personalities are a little bit more and uh, what's gonna be a reflection of them. So this is them in the field a little bit here. You can see there's one chestnut that has a star and then there's another chestnut that doesn't have any white on his face. They're both super duper cute. I'm really excited to work with them and kind of see what they're all about. So this is them just kind of hanging in the field um, at a little bit of a distance from me. They get a little bit uneasy and they want to put the feeder between me and them, which is totally okay. They're just uh, keeping an eye on me, but they're not running really stupid or anything like that they're not um, really worked up but they're definitely not wanting anything to do with me they're definitely kind of staying at a distance and keep in mind this footage was taken after they had been on a trailer for several several hours that's shipping up to uh, Canada so they were pretty excited to see the hay feeder there so they are at the hay feeder and I have the hay feeder between me and them and so I took a little bit of time just kind of working my way a little bit closer to the hay feeder. And I was actually able to kind of pretend to eat the hay where I'm kind of at the hay feeder moving the hay like this. And you can see the one chestnut who's got the, he doesn't have the star. He's just got a little tiny bit of white on his nose there. He's the braver of the two. So he's eating the hay kind of up front. You can see the other little guy in the back. He's kind of hiding behind his friend and he will kind of come in and sneak a bite of hay, but he's kind of staying off to the side. And if I try to come around the corner of the hay feeder at all, they, they do just leave. So as long as I kept the hay feeder directly between us, they were okay with that. Otherwise, they were walking away, but not running away. So that was pretty good to see. But again, they've, they're they pretty tired. They've been on a long journey. They definitely need to rest and eat. They're not on their full, you know, we're not seeing necessarily who they're gonna be in the next few days. So again, we did a little bit more of me just kind of picking at the hay and them at the other side. And you can see the, the chestnut that doesn't have the stars, but just got the little bit on his knows he was a more brave one and then here's just a little bit of me kind of just walking around i thought it's kind of interesting that the chestnut puts himself closer to me this is kind of funny the guy with the star is looking at me and he's like nope want to leave he's looking at me he's kind of swaying in his body he's like no this is making me feel pretty uncomfortable i'm just gonna let you be the one closest to the human over there and uh, so definitely seeing that the guy with the star is the less brave of the two and the one that has a little bit of white on his chin seems to be the more brave one so it did a little bit more eating at the hay with them and then here's just a cute clip of somebody trail riding 
and they're like, I'm brave. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go up. And then he kind of psychs himself out and ends up running away. So that's what we're starting with. I'm excited to do some more training, but that gives you a little look at the Mustangs arriving at the farm.